Happy Monday, all you tactical moms and dads out there and non-parents. Welcome back to another episode of The Tactical Everyday Dad. Today we have the Benchmade Claymore. Is it too high speed, low drag and overly tactical? Or does it make for a very good automatic out the side tactical everyday parent EDC carry? Let's check it out. Model number is 9070SBK-1, the Claymore Black Class Benchmade Knife with your typical Benchmade packaging. Inside the box, of course, you get your use and care manual as well as warranty information. Knife comes in the Benchmade branded microfiber cloth bag. This is an out the side automatic knife with a very large push button lock with great gnarling and a safety. Red means fire. Overall length, 8.6 inches. Blade length, 3.6 inch. Blade thickness, 0.11 inch. The blade steel is the brand new CPM D2. It's a powder steel, better edge retention than your normal D2, as well as toughness is increased. Drop point blade. All the claymores at the moment are partially serrated. There is no plain edge option. And this has their cobalt Cerakote, which is a non-reflective. As you see, it's not really shining at all with the light. Handle length is five inches exactly. Stainless steel liners with barrel spacer and a rear spacer here. Left or right deep pocket carry with a very nice lanyard hole tip up only. So the detailing here is remnant of the name itself. A Claymore mine is an anti-personnel mine used by the military and it shoots out small ball bearings towards the enemy. This is International Morse Code, stands for FTE, which stands for Front Towards the Enemy, which is on the front of the Claymore mine to tell the user which direction to actually place the mine. The overall weight of this guy, three, 0.5 ounces. I'm gonna get you some everyday size comparisons. You have your everyday Sharpie, your everyday big pen, toy car, Ontario Rat 2, the Ontario Rat 1. The Spyderco Pair 3 and the Spyderco PM2. The Benchmade Mini Bug Out and the Benchmade Full Size Bug Out. And we have some special guests for the size comparison the Mini Adamus and the brand new full size updated Adamus. All right, let's check it out in the pocket. You have your everyday jeans. I wear a size large glove, plenty of room in the pocket. You have your everyday golf shorts. Your everyday athletic or basketball shorts. All right, let's put it through some everyday dad task. Your 
one layer Amazon box. I'm gonna try and not use the serrations, but we'll see how that goes. So that was without serrations. Just trying to keep it fair because all the other knives on the channel have been plain edged. Dual layer Lowe's or Home Depot. Again, I'm trying my best to not hit the serrations. Not bad. I think the carbon was kind of flimsy, so that didn't give it a fair test. 550 paracord. Good. Different size zip ties. Wow, that was actually no effort. I even sped up just to see if it actually did anything. Everyday milk or water jug. Again, I try not to use the serrations and that performed very well. Being D2, I am gonna quickly just wipe the liquid off of this guy. Your genuine leather. Ooh la la. Look at that. Excellent. All right, let's check it out on these heat belt tests. An MSRP of $199.95. Is this high speed, low drag, tactical, out the side, automatic knife a good option for that tactical everyday parent? After putting through the everyday parent testing, it cut through everything with ease and automatic knives in my opinion are great for parents just because it's one hand deployable and this particular model has a safety so you don't have to fear that this will be deployed in your pocket my toddler jumps me all the time and i'm always afraid he's gonna somehow activate that but i know that i have a, a safety here and it's not gonna deploy if it's not on I just caught my thumb there. Whoops. So this is a great option. However, at 199, there's other options out there that could be more budget friendly, but you are paying for the material, the warranty and the brand. So again, take all the information I provided in my videos as that advice. Listen to it, but use it to create your own conclusions on if you'd like to add this to your everyday carry or not. Thank you guys again for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.